So hey guys and welcome to the video with just a few days to go until the theme parks reopen in the UK I thought I'd do a video talking about some attractions that are coming to the UK in 2021 So let's get hyped in this video If you do go on to like this please smack that like button Hit that subscribe button and turn up all notifications so you don't miss a single video Without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So the first attraction that I wanted to talk about in this video is the 10 Inversion Roller Coaster opening at Flamingoland. Now the reason I wanted to do this one first is because we don't actually know if this roller coaster is going to open in 2021. It's still set to open in 2021, but the name hasn't been released um, and the park haven't publicized this at all, apart from on their social media and all of the banners have been taken down. So Again, we don't know whether this is going to open in 2021, um, but I thought it'd be worth talking about it in this video, just in case it miraculously um, opened in 2021. So this is going to be a um, Intamin multi-inversion coaster. This is going to be the revision B of that um, layout. This roller coaster originally came from Malaysia. It was set to open in a park in Malaysia, um, but they didn't actually um, have the money to open it or construct it. So all of it was shipped to Flamingoland in the UK um, and they threw it up there. Um, I'm really looking forward to this roller coaster, I'll be honest with you. Um, when I go to Flamingoland for the first time this year, I'll definitely bring you some off-ride footage of this coaster. Um, I think this roller coaster is going to ride very well. A lot of people are comparing it to um, Colossus at Fort Park. I think that's really unfair, to be honest with you, because again, I think this roller coaster is going to ride a lot better than Colossus um, from just looking at the layout. Um, I think it's going to be a lot smoother than Colossus. And also, the first drop is um, the drop is profiled differently to Colossus. So again, we'll have to see how this one rides. Um, but this is set open in 2021 but again it could be delayed so the next attraction i have on my list is a new area opening at polson's park named tornado springs so there are going to be four new attractions in this Tornado Springs area and two rethemed attractions. The main attraction in this area is going to be called Storm Chaser. It's going to be a Mac spinning coaster um, with a very similar layout to Sierra Sidewinder at Knott's Berry Farm. Now I'm very interested to get out to this Mac spinning coaster and experience it for myself. Um, it really does look to be very well themed in fact this area looks to be very well themed the theming is incredible from what we've seen already um there are theme park channels out there um that have um showed early footage um of some of the theming elements um in regards to this new area and again it just looks fantastic um and this um centerpiece roller coaster really does bring that all together so another attraction opening in this area is going to be a Zamperla Gyro Swing. This is going to be 25 meters tall or 83 feet. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting on this one as well. I'm not a huge flat rides person, um, but this really does look to be an enjoyable flat ride for all ages, um, you know, from kids up to adults. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one rides. There's also two other attractions, um, new attractions that's opening up in this area. There's going to be a driving school called Owls Driving Academy and there's also going to be two small drop towers in this area as well. So I really can't wait to get out to Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park. It really does look to be a fantastic area, really well themed with some really great attractions. I really can't wait to get on Storm Chaser, that max spinning coaster. Um, it's going to be a great roller coaster. I can already tell them it's going to ride really well um, because it is a max spinning coaster and they're renowned for being smooth. So again, really can't wait to get out to Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park. So next, let's talk about Fantasy Island at Inglemel Skegness. So Fantasy Island have announced on their social media that they will be opening a brand new Mara spinning coaster called Spinning Racer. This will stand at 15.5 meters tall or 50 feet tall and have a top speed of 43 miles per hour. 
Now, I really do like Maris spinning coasters. I think they're good looking um, and the layouts are fantastic. This is no different. This is slightly different to the ones I've ridden though, um, because this is going to be a traveling um, Maris spinning coaster. I've never ridden one of those before and I'm really excited to get on this. Um, I'm really looking forward to the experience on this roller coaster. Um, I really do feel like this will offer a great ride experience. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it rides given that it's a traveling roller coaster. I've never actually done a traveling roller coaster before, so I don't know how they ride as a sort of generalization. Um, but I'm sure it's going to be fantastic and I'm really looking forward to getting out to this one. Again, it's going to be a brand new credit for me. So Fantasy Island are also opening a brand new dark ride named Harrington Flint's Island Adventures. So not much is known about this dark ride. We don't even know if it's going to be a dark ride, but I'm presuming that it's going to be a dark ride based off of information that um, Fantasy Island have given to us already. So what we do know is it's going to be a shooting ride. So there's going to be some sort of um, shooting element on this ride. You know, you shoot and you get a score. Something like Jewel at Alton Towers. Um, what we do know as well is there's going to be custom graphics um, on this particular ride and um, they've been teasing those on their social media. Um, I really do like the graphics. They really do look cartoony um, and they look really interesting as well. So I am really looking forward to seeing what Fantasy Islands um, are going to do with this um, dark ride just because um, they've been teasing it so much and they've been picking it up so much. I'm really expecting high things from this um, particular dark ride. So next, let's look at Chesington World of Adventures and their brand new FBS Visa drop tower named Croc Drop. Now Croc Drop is going to be 25 meters tall or 84 feet. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. It's a really well themed drop tower. Um, I'm slightly concerned though, just because drop towers tend to have really low throughputs. So I'm expecting this um, particular attraction to have really bad queues. Um, I'm interested to see whether they have some kind of pre-show on this ride um, to help entertain guests through the queue, just because of the theming on this um, particular um, SBF Visa drop tower. Um, I'll put some um, images again on screen now, but you can see that the drop tower actually comes out of um, a large crocodile's mouth. I'm really excited to get out to Chessington World of Adventures at some time this year to go check this out because I really do want to see um, the ride for myself and again how it rides. So let's talk about Thor Park and their brand new attraction for this year, the Black Mirror Labyrinth. Now, the Black Mirror Labyrinth was actually set to open in 2020, but couldn't open due to it being an indoor experience. Um, so it was moved to 2021. I'm really excited for this. Um, I'm expecting this to be a lot like um, Saw Alive, just without the actors and replaced with screens and um, smoke effects and things like that. I'm really expecting this to be a um, state of the art attraction. Um, I don't think they would have, um, you know, cheaped out on the um, Black Mirror um, IP. Um, again, I really do think it's going to be something special. Also, at Thor Park Resort this year, I'm really hoping they are able to reopen attractions like Darren Brown's Ghost Train um, and the Walking Dead, um, the ride attraction. Um, I didn't get to experience um, Darren Brown's Ghost Train um, prior years, so I'm really hoping to experience it this year. I'm also really hoping to get on the um, Walking Dead, the ride, as I'm not experiencing it as the walking dead the ride yet um so that will be a really interesting experience for me also coming this year um or returning this year sorry is the oktoberfest event um this was absolutely fantastic at alton towers so i'll definitely be trying to get to the oktoberfest event at thorpe park if it's anything like the alton towers event it's going to be great um it was at alton towers there were lots of entertainment there was lots of food um and of course, lots of beer. So again, I'm really excited to get back out to Thorpe Park to ride some of the UK's best roller coasters and also to experience those brand new um, returning events and attractions. So next, let's talk about Alton Towers. Man, where do I start? 
So Alton Towers have announced their brand new Gangster Granny The Ride. This is a ride based off of the um, popular children's book um, and movie um, Gangster Granny. Um, I've seen some um, like beside, behind the scenes um, videos of this ride. Alton Towers released an official behind the scenes video for this ride. It really does look good. Um, they have announced some projection mapping um, to be incorporated into this ride um, and they're does look to be a lot of theming and set pieces um, so I'm expecting this to be a highly themed experience along with the gangster granny of the ride comes the world of David Walliams this is a retheme of the story book land area at Alton Towers I'm really happy that they actually retheme this area in all honesty just because the story book land was looking a bit sorry for itself and it didn't really have any place um, in the so-called modern Alton Towers. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to the world of David Walliams. Again, it's not really targeted, targeted towards my demographic, um, but I am looking forward to getting on Gangster Granny the ride to experience it for myself nonetheless. So also coming to the Alton Towers Resort this year, we have the Mardi Gras event. This is going to be a carnival style um, event. Um, I presume there's going to be lots of um, street parades. Um, there's going to be lots of events happening on that stage um, that I showed you um, in my latest vlog. If you've not checked that out, there is also a link down in the description to that if you want to see that brand new stage. But I presume there will be some um, fantastic shows um, for Mardi Gras on that stage. Um, I also presume that they're going to bring um, a lot of um, world foods to Alton Towers um, for this Mardi Gras event. Um, I am really looking forward to this one. Um, Alton Towers um, really do have a plethora of events this year, um, including the return of of Oktoberfest. I really loved Oktoberfest at Alton Towers as I've mentioned um, last year so really looking forward to getting back and um, getting um, in with Oktoberfest. Um, I really do hope that it is as good um, as it was last year. Also, we have um, the um, brand new um, winter event. This is going to be a event, um, again, that's held at Christmas um, that's going to replace sort of like the hotel events because um, years prior um, to 2020, um, they didn't really open the park up um, to people who weren't staying in the hotel. That's all changed this year. They're going to open the um, theme park up to people um, who want to come um, for Christmas. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, also coming to Alton Towers this year is a set of flat rides. So what's interesting about these flat rides is these are going to be a set of um, traveling flat rides. This is just to boost um, Alton Towers capacity, just because they've been taking a lot of flat rides out in recent years, but they've not really been putting anything in their place. So the rides that we can be expecting in this wave of traveling flat rides are a Super Trooper, a Smashing Jump, a Classic Waltzer, and also a classic twister. I'm really looking forward to getting on the twister. I really do like the twisters. Um, I think they're fantastic rides. Also, waltzers, I'm really looking forward to get on as well. I'm interested to see how Alton Towers incorporates um, flat rides into their lineup. Just because um, Alton Towers is a theme park, you know, you have these different themed areas. Um, you know, traveling flat rides don't really fit into any themed area. So again, I'm really looking forward to seeing how Alton Towers incorporate these into the park. So guys, that's been my video talking about some attractions that are coming to the UK this year, just to get you all hyped for the 2021 season. Um, I'll be at Alton Towers on the 12th of April. I'll be at Blackpool Pleasure Beach on the um, 13th of April and I'll also be um, going again back to um, Alton Towers on the 14th of April. Then the week after on the 19th I'll be at um, Thorpe Park. If you see me around the parks please do come and say hi. I don't buy um, and neither does Oakley Doakley um, and I'm really looking forward to getting out there and recording as many vlogs as possible for you guys so definitely subscribe to the channel for that. So guys, if you have liked this video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. I've been Ryan from iCoaster and I shall see you in the next video.
Goodbye.